So I may have just stumbled across one of the best things to be given to the RuneScape community in a hell of a long time. So, first of all, OP Tech Pure is the person that posted this. Um, and, wow, this is, this is really cool. This is a RuneScape 3 quest buddy. This is a quest helper for RuneScape 3. How many times have you guys said or asked or like heard the, the people say, man, I wish we had a quest helper like in old school RuneScape, but for RuneScape 3. I've said this tons of times and I've heard this tons of times. Someone's gone and made it. This is actually addable to Alt 1, which you guys will see later. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go through this whole post. It's pretty pretty long, but it show you the features of what it can actually do. And then we'll jump into game. Uh, I'll install it. We'll jump into game and we'll see how it actually performs and give it a good go and run through a little bit of a, a quest. Maybe not a full one, but just see the performance of it. So, uh, first of all, before we get started, this has been posted to Reddit. I'm pretty confident that it's all good to use. Like it, it can be added to Alt 1. It doesn't need to be downloaded and thrown into anything else. It's just an Alt 1 extension. So it should be all good to use uh, in terms of like account security and stuff. But I'm just going to have to say use it at your own risk, of course. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's have a look. So this person said, hello, everyone. I made this quest helper called RuneScape 3 Quest Buddy. It's basically a quick guide of a quest right in your RuneScape environment. Also, I hope that uh, you don't mind me making a video of this, by the way, TechPure. Um, if you do, just let me know. I'll take it down. That's fine. But I assume more coverage and stuff isn't a bad thing. And it will make a really cool video. So uh, basically, it's a quick, gu a quick guide of a quest right in your RuneScape environment. As you can see here uh, on this picture. We can see uh, all this, the, the information down here. So pop out quest controls, pick another quest, show quest steps, and then requirements, start point, and it's got like uh, all these different options down here. Uh, so on here, we have, what does it say? With RuneScape 3 Quest Buddy, you're able to view uh, right in your RuneScape environment the requirements, start point, items you need for a quest, and the items you might need. So you can see down here, it says step one. Read note on the cabbage dummy at the workshop. Uh, speak to the overseer Civ. Teleport to Alcarid. Like it's basically right in there. You don't have to tab out. You don't have to use a second screen for like a quick guide or anything. Uh, this is definitely helpful. Now you might be thinking, you can just use a wiki, but trust me, gets gets quite a bit better. You get a step-by-step -step guide, just like the wiki, and you're able to track your progression just by clicking next step, and then it highlights the step that you're on. So, as you can see, it's highlighted in a little blue circle here, and you press next step, and it'll go to the next one. Very cool. Uh, and you press next step again, and it check marks the first step you completed and highlights the step you're on. So, it's highlighted again. This has a check mark, uh, and it's going to show us this. So, so you can, uh, this, is, this is highlighted like this, so you know it's done, and then you're on step two here. Man, this is, I wish this was out so long ago. This is so cool. But what the wiki doesn't have are players who have sent images in and, add, uh, and added to the quest body by just clicking images. You'll be able to see uh, useful images about the quest that you might find helpful. So you can see here, it's got like places on this little map um, that shows different places and people like Ali Morrison over here, uh, Zeke is over here. So definitely useful things that look immediately there straight away. Sometimes the wiki does have stuff like this, but not always. Uh, and also, obviously, this is going to be a lot easier to access too, I guess. Also, all quests are available in the quest buddy, including mini quests. You can also search a name and find out what quests are available to you. So, they've already done all the quests, all of them, and all the mini quests, which is insane. I'm sure this took a hell of a long time to do. But you can also search your player name and see what quests that you can actually do still. So, so cool, so useful. Like, I mean, obviously you can check your quest list in game, but this, is, this does it in game. In, in here, you click it and pick the quest. Nice. Um, and then next you have, what's done here? Uh, sort out quest completed, uh, completed quests and apply skills don't sort. Apply skills don't sort. I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming it means maybe it's like um, it, it'll only show you quests that you have the skills for, maybe. I don't know. But either way, cool. Pressing sort out. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Pressing sort out completed quests gives you a total quest points and a number of quests you're able to do. And then you can add any notes as well by clicking the plus icon. Where's the plus icon? Uh, we can see the notes tab, but where's the plus icon? Uh, I, I can't see it, but there's probably one. Oh, it's here. It's here. It's at the bottom. Okay, so you can press this and add any notes that you wanted to as well. Very cool. And then finally, you're able to change the color of your text, button text, and labels, each coming with a color swatch. So you can make it, like, obviously, some people can't see, like, red for text and stuff. Or maybe you just like to do it because you like designing things in a different way. Um, things that stand out a little bit better. But some people can't see red. Some people can't see, like, different, like, you don't want black on black or anything like that, right? Uh, white might be difficult for some people to see. You can change that. Very nice. And this is my favorite bit here. 
Now, and all you have to do is uh, to close is either press the X button or just click on the buddy. There is also a feature where it highlights what option uh, you're supposed to click, but be quick because we can't track key presses uh, of the sorts. So basically, the way I assume this is going to work, but we'll check in game if we can, uh, is what it's going to highlight the actual options that you're going to need when you start talking to that person. But it's very likely on a timer because it says you can't they can't track key presses, right? So all it's going to do is probably run a timer and, and, and you have to keep up with that, I assume, because it says, um, but be quick because we can't track key presses, which is good, to be honest, because then it can't actually, it's not actually tracking your keys. So you can just click it, it'll show you which ones to do. As long as you're quick enough, I'm sure there's probably like a, a plenty of time to go through and do it. I love this. Having to pause like guides, like because I usually use video guides, for example, like Protoxes or something. And then they will say what what like numbers to press. Like, no, I just press two, then two, then three, then one. But you gotta pause it because obviously you've got to wait to get through the dialogue and whatnot. Whereas this is just gonna help you, which is really cool. Um, and then yeah, so that's the quest buddy I made if you want to try it out for yourself Please do so you can also message me on discord if you want help uh, Or to help contribute images for quests or fix anything such as references without any images And then there's the discord information and whatnot and the link to it which I've already downloaded uh, But I've run the clip of actually installing that as well so that you guys can see uh, how it actually installs But it says here actually uh, to add quest buddy to alt one just click the add to alt one <laughs> It was actually that simple, but I'll run it here for you now. So I'm going to download it here. And then because I have Alt 1 open, I can just press open rune apps and it's going to open up here. Uh, and then it's just going to say get game state. The app can request Alt 1 information about the game. XP counters, blah, blah, blah. View screen. Uh, okay, so I have to give these permissions basically. Show overlay. Uh, that's fine. So the fact that I can put it in Alt 1 makes me feel a, bit, a little bit better. Um, obviously, I don't, I don't want to tell you guys, just go and download this thing and it might not be quite right. But because it's in Alt 1, I mean, Alt 1 can't do anything, can't track anything. Um, but yeah, this looks good. So we got it installed. We'll give it a good look and then uh, see how it looks in game as well. So we are in game. Did I put my pin in? I did. Good. Uh, so up in the top right here, I have my Alt 1, as you can see. It might be, it's actually cropped off for you guys a little bit, but it's just in the top corner. And then if you scroll down on the list, it is now actually here. RuneScape 3 Quest Buddy. So I'm going to open this up. See what it does. Well, you've been hacked. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Imagine. So here we have a new player name. A search player name. Let's actually do this. Let's put mine in here. Uh, search. Okay. Searching, searching, searching. You guys can't see this either. Damn, that's really annoying. Hold on. Let me try and fix this for you. So you guys can actually see everything. There we go. Right. Uh, so let's come up with in it. Yeah. Um, it's green. Sort out completed quests. Let's click this. Uh, quests have been sorted by a quest you can do. Okay. Uh, and he has a total of 318 quest points and has 80 quests you can do at this time. Damn, that's a lot. Um, that's a lot of quests. So, let's look at the quest here. So, I, I assume... Uh, is this telling me the next one to do? Is it saying that I should do uh, Fairy Tale 3 first, maybe? Okay, let's do this one here. Let's do uh, Clock Tower. So, if we put in here... Clock Tower. Oh, it pulls up straight away. Didn't have to hit search. Nice. Okay, and then uh, we, we click on this. And I need to move this. Can I actually move this around? I can minimize it here a little bit. Okay, I like it. I like it up here like this. That's actually pretty good. Okay, cool. Right, we got all we got up on the top. It says clock tower. We got all the stuff. Uh, requirements, none. Okay, uh, items you definitely need. It's just there. Nice. Bucket uh, of water. Okay, start point is speak to Brother Kojo in the clock tower south of Ardone. Okay, let's go. Is there a, like a starting location image? No. Okay, so there's nothing added there yet. So the more people that use this, the better it's going to get probably, seeing as you can submit images. That's good. Okay, we want to speak to Brother, Brother what? Brother, Brother, Brother. Hello? How do I get in here? Oh, what the frick? This is, how, where's the front door? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk to this guy. We're going to see if it maybe shows us some text, um, like, options here. So just hold spacebar. Spacebar, spacebar. It highlights, ac highlights accept quest, which is cool. Oh, it's here. Oh, oh okay. That's interesting. It, oh, no, it was just the accept quest button again. I was going to say. Right, so that's done. Next step. 
Beautiful. Go into the room to the south and down the ladder. Okay. I was going to edit this up and just show you guys like the highlights of me doing this quest. But to be honest, there's not really much point. I will just talk about it and say like the way it works, as you can see on screen, is it has the steps. They're really well written out. It's nice and easy to follow. Um, they make total sense and there's nothing that actually is confusing about it whatsoever. All the descriptions that I did in this quest specifically were very accurate and on point. The only thing that kind of confused me a little bit, which to be fair, isn't even the creator's fault, is that it uses the US reference to first floor ground floor and all that sort of stuff you'll see here i'll just cut to it so you can see it so go up the ladder to the first floor uh, and place the red cog on the red spindle it says us <laughs> okay listen does that mean this one because us because do you guys in the us call this the first floor the ground floor because i'd say this is the ground floor and this is the first floor. Oh no. Um, I'm going to assume it's this one. I don't know, bro. Is it this one? Oh no. Okay. I'm going to assume that the US people do it differently to us. And just put it here. And if I'm right, then perfect. It fits perfectly. It says so that's good. So yeah, it uses the US version. It says that though. So that makes sense. And the majority audience will be the US, even though you guys are wrong in how you actually explain this, because that it's usually the, 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 the basement, then the ground floor, then floor one, then floor two. So the main floor isn't ground is, isn't like first floor. That's the ground floor. And then it's the first floor above that, you know, but this does use the US one. Let's not start an argument over this. It's still easy enough to follow and actually worked really well. I got this quest done in no time whatsoever. It made it a lot easier. I really, really like having this here. It's it's great. So here's the last couple of bits of me finishing off the quest and then giving my final thoughts on it. Done. Quest complete. I love this. I absolutely love this. I think this is this is perfect. Like I just it's it's great. It, it, pff, the images obviously are going to come with time, um, but you can see that it's a great idea. What's in the settings here? Highlight green when complete. Uh, remove step after completion. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remove the step after completion for sure. You can change the color of your text, but I think the one I had is fine. And there you go. Return to top. Pick another quest. And then it just brings up the quests for me again. I think this is great. I am so glad that this has been made for RuneScape 3. I hope that a lot of people find use out of this. And... As for the person who made this, bro, you're an absolute lifesaver. This is going to be game changing for so many players, like especially for myself. I know people are going to absolutely love this. What else is there to say? If you guys are interested, go download it and uh, yeah, enjoy. Holy crap. This is, this is game changing. Catch you later, guys. Bye.